so the interesting thing is that this, this actual control panel is actually rendered on this device uh, by a description from the alarm clock app itself. I can actually go ahead and um, set the alarm, but this is uh, when I'm actually hitting this set, setting the alarm and you saw the alarm light go on here, it's actually not um, hard-coded to this. Actually, it's uh, hard-coded to setting the alarm on this device or any other device that actually has that same software interface. Hmm. So in that way, let, let's just go um, set it to 8. So. It's almost like LabVIEW. Uh, Except it's, way better. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a more more flexible, perhaps. <laughs> so let's just set the alarm for 8.13, and, and you'll see um, a couple of things. So, so when we talk about uh, control, a control system on top of all joint, it's really what you, maybe the more important thing. It's a modular control system on top of all joint, right? And so, um, so I, you know, setting the alarm. One of the other things that I, that we've added is the ability for notifications. And so what it does, so you know, the alarm's gone off here. If you see here, it says the alarm is playing now. And you'll see over there in the TV, the alarm is playing now. And even on the top wristwatch, the alarm is playing now. And so there wasn't anything special as far as we've hard coded this to you know, work for a demo. It's just that all joint notifications is running on all these different devices. So again, you know, for an average consumer, you bring home a new device, you're not going to actually upgrade all the software in, your, in all your devices. It just actually just works as part of your internet of everything. So that's that's a. Would you uh, like me to dismiss that for you? Oh sure, please. So, yeah, it's a notification with action part of the framework, so we could dismiss it and uh, turn it off. Can you snooze from it too? Uh, snooze was another option. Oh, it's nice. Exactly. Snooze. Yeah. So you can see that right the, the the <laughs> alarm is dismissed. That notification came up here. It also came up over there, right? And again, it's a scalable system where wherever you are displaying notifications, you'll get them. Wherever you're controlling. Uh, items, not just notifications, whether it's on the, the watch or the app or you know on actually a physical button, you'll actually get those as well. So it's a it shows you really kind of the reason or the power of why to have this interoperability and why all joint is really necessary and usable from that perspective. Um, another uh, important uh, thing that we we talked about here uh, this week was uh, all play. All play is uh, built on all joint, and so one of the things that you know some of I think what what I've just talked about that you hopefully um, are grasping is that all joint allows for a control plane as well as a discovery mechanism that's dynamic and peer to peer. But what we've done is now added media streaming as well as media synchronization on top of that. And all of that together is what we're calling all play. Hmm. Um, and so all play works uh, in a do you specify a codec and transport format? Uh, there's a variety of codecs that we actually okay. we support, yes. Um, so um, yesterday you saw uh, with uh, on, on stage. Um, so this is the Rhapsody app. So let, let's talk a little bit about what, what I'm showing you here. This is actually Rhapsody's application. I'm, you know, playing playing a song here. This is the All Play lo you know logo. They 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 can place it wherever they want, and it's actually playing on this device. But I can actually hit the, the living room and kitchen, and you can see. Um, let's see here. It's actually playing over here. This is our uh, kitchen, and that's over there on, on the living room. Um, one of the things I could do with All Play is, uh, well, first and foremost, we're again in the same issue of modularity. It's an SDK, so we bundled up all of those component layers that are talked about into an SDK, so that the the uh, app, the content partner, or a local media streaming app. So we're also working, for example, with Double Twist can just embed that uh, functionality into their app, but still retain. Their, their own look and feel, UI flows, etc. It's their experience still. It's still the Rhapsody experience in this case. So that's that's one part of the equation. The other part of the equation is actually the same software running on the smart device. So here we actually have it, you know, essentially on a on a processor that's a, that's running and connecting to the speaker over there, the same to another speaker. And actually we have a third which is actually on our outside speaker over there. One of the the more interesting things above and beyond just the modularity of all play is the ability to do zones or grouping. Uh, so let me go uh, back in here and pick uh, a couple ways to show this. Uh, let's go over here and I can go to the group menu. And let's say I want to actually uh, take off the kitchen, but you know, group the living room and the patio so that you know I'm only playing in those two zones. So 
church. It's only holy place. So now, what you're actually hearing is it's playing out there in the mm -hmm. in the patio and over there in the living room. And you know, just like what we showed kind of online, you could actually change the volume separately, or you know, change the volumes as a as a group way. Changing the volumes is an interesting thing, but what you're really actually showing, you know, what you're actually doing there is synchronized audio over Wi-Fi that you can group into multiple zones, and so you can actually have multiple streams using the same uh, all-play technology, the same control controller app to different portions of the house. So that actually, again, just like with the, the base foundation technology of AllJoin, allows you as an end consumer to bring a new AllPlay device into your home and it will just work with whatever apps that you have that are all play compliant. Again, there's modularity and interoperability to really make this internet and everything uh, explode.